I absolutely love that asparagus parcel with the crab mayonnaise inside it. I think that's light, it's full of crab flavour. You get a little bit of crunch from the asparagus. I think that's, I think that's great. I think your bisque, it's a heady concoction. It's a real deep and it's almost got a sweetness to it. It's so good. I can't remember tasting a better bisque than that. I honestly can't. 44-year-old Gary has been lecturing at a college in Glasgow for 15 years. I really feel I have got better. I can teach an old dog new tricks. I think that's really um, one of the reasons why I'm still in the competition. Gary, you did it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Are you, are you happy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I should be teaching a class right now. That's how mad this is. W what an experience. I'm absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. I'm just going to really work hard to try and stay in the competition. Gary's opted to use a beautiful crab in his dish and it's all about this wonderful ingredient. He's taken the white crab meat and he's, he's bound it with mayonnaise and mustard. And he's shaved strips of asparagus, he's blanched them and he's weaving them like plaits into a beautiful basket. He's going to put his crab meat down the centre and fold it over. He's also got a biscuit that he's made from the crab shells as well. I love the different elements that Gary has on this dish. I just wonder how this is all going to come together to make one uniform dish. 27-year-old sous chef Brenton impressed early on with an exceptional lamb signature dish. I think I'm developing a bit. I'm getting to have my creative juices going constantly at the moment. And I'm disagreeing with myself, agreeing with myself, uh, having arguments in my own head. And yeah, I'm developing as far as uh, being able to come up with better dishes. Brenton is using the pigeon for his main course. It's going to be cooked wonderfully. It's still pink. He needs to rest it. We don't want this bleeding on the plate. Bring you flavours of ratatouille and a beautiful sauce just to round it all off. I love morel sauce. When you get it right, wow, that can certainly complement a pigeon with ratatouille. Brenton's dish is pan-fried pigeon breast and leg with ratatouille, romero pepper puree, tomatoes infused with garlic and cherry vinegar, finished with a morel sauce. This plate is full of sunshine. Big colour, lovely presentation. The pigeon, wonderfully crisp on the outside, it's perfectly cooked. And what actually for me brings this together and those flavours of the ratatouille is the pepper puree underneath it. It really does remind you of what you are eating. That sauce is powerful. I like it. I think you're a chef to watch when you cook. You get the best out of the ingredients. Thank you very much, Monica. The whole thing reminds me of Mediterranean sunshine. It reminds me of Provence and I love it. It's big, it's bold, it's got depths of flavour, it's got freshness and it's got that lovely, that lovely touch of acid at the end there. I think the technique and skill is excellent here, Brenton. Great job. Gary has wrapped white crab, mustard and dill mayonnaise in a lattice of asparagus and served it with brown crab salad, seared squid and tempura squid, finished with a crab bisque. <laughs> I absolutely love that asparagus parcel with the crab mayonnaise inside it. I think that's light, it's full of crab flavour. You get a little bit of crunch from the asparagus. I think that's, I think that's great. I think your bisque, it's a heady concoction. It's a real deep and it's almost got a sweetness to it. It's so good. I can't remember tasting a better bisque than that. I honestly can't. The squid has been cooked wonderfully. And that brown crab meat in the bottom is also something extra I wasn't expecting. The bisque is lovely. You have brought a natural sweetness into it. And that's a very, very skillful thing to do. It's just naturally brilliant and beautiful. <laughs>